Assalamualaikum. Assalamu alaikum. So in this video we will just uh, make these buttons uh, work. So for that purpose uh, we actually have two scripts. One is uh, attached with the cache title and uh, this is actually the main menu cache script. So on this main menu cache script I have added this uh, game object uh, with the name of stats panel and uh, then on the public wire switch stats panel on we are making stat panel to be active and inside the us stats script uh, we have added a public game object stats panel and uh, then we are created we have created public wire switch of stats and we have added uh, this line of code for switching of the stats panel so what we'll do inside the cache title we can just drag drop the stat panel and uh, inside the stats panel if we select the stats panel and before that i will just go to cache title script and uh, okay so yeah on the main menu we'll do that no problem so before that I will just go to stats panel and you can see traces one display, races lost display and stats panel. So first of all I will just add uh, races uh, games one and uh, game lost which we have created in the last video and uh, stats panel. Stats panel is the panel itself and uh, then inside this car selection uh, we can click on this button and we will move back so inside on this car selection menu so let's add a on click function add stars button go to function UI stars and we will select this switch off stars function so that's great so now initially we can actually hide it and uh, now on the main menu we can select this uh, stats button so let's select this one and uh, we'll just uh, go to the on click function we will try to drop this cache title because it has that script i will just go to main menu cache and we will open the switch stats panel on function so that's great if we move play the game hopefully it should work so let's see so this is the main menu if we click on stats you can see we have stats power etc car selection we are moved back to car selection let's click stats and here we can also edit the stats into car selection stats and everything is working fine so now we will move back to our uh, scenes and uh, in our racetrack scenes if we go to scene one racetrack you can see that we should have a leaderboard and uh, we have to add a continue or back to main menu button on leaderboard as well so let's go to leaderboard so where it is so canvas racetrack let's open this this was a leaderboard so let's make it active and uh, on this leaderboard we need a button so let's click here ui legacy button and uh, this is continue button like this and uh, we'll just uh, go to surprise select the button add the relative surprise here set native size and uh, now we'll just move it to the right bottom maybe so let's select it here maybe and uh, for the text we can just make it uh, I think if we make it bigger it can be destructed so let's see what will happen so let's make it 42 maybe and uh, good time okay it is fine I think so let's make it 32 and let's make it continue 
let's make it 28 maybe so yeah it looked good so now on the continue button we will just add this button inside the leaderboard and now on this button uh, we will just add a function so for the function what we will do we already have a uh, function of quit menu so we will use the similar function so let's go to on click uh, plus click on plus and let's move the main canvas here i think on main canvas we have ui script and we have quit close button or and we also have continue button function yeah this one is fine so let's add the continue button function so that's great now we will just uh, select the leaderboard let's make it inactive and uh, let's move to our second scene scene to racetrack let's save it open it and uh, now we will just move to racetrack and uh, now we will just go to leaderboard again we will just uh, repeat the process and uh, definitely you can update the prefab as well but it can cause some problems so that's why i am not doing that although you can do that if you want to do continue button and uh, then the similar thing we will just go to sprites continue button and we will try to drop this sprite and we will add its native size uh, we will just move it to the right bottom go to the right and uh, then we will select the text let's make it continue Okay, so let's uh, select good times let's make it uh, 28 maybe and other things are fine yeah so now we'll select uh, this continue button let's add it inside the leaderboard main panel and now we'll select the button let's go to one click let's add the main UI script object go to ui script and add continue button function and now again select the leaderboard and make it inactive save it let's go to the scenes and let's move back to main scene that's it that's great in next video we'll move further goodbye